Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave and we are about to go on the Anarchist Spy uh, mission. And, uh, and then after that we are going to be doing another mission for um, the storyline uh, for Deke and Sarah. So I'm glad you could join me, and um, and I do appreciate all your uh, all your support that you give the channel, and uh, love you tons. So if you don't mind, uh, you know, hit that like button, and what I maxed out? Mm, is that really true? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And of course, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell, right? So, uh, all right. Well, let's uh, stop talking and get to playing. So that uh, general that is part of the camp, uh, he, I swear, he is, he's, I think he's crazy already, but it seems like uh, every day that passes, he gets more and more distant from reality. And he wants me to go find this guy that stole his Bible, I guess. I would think a man that's that much of a zealot would have more than one Bible <laughs> uh, in his uh, oh, here we go. in his possessions, but I don't know. Anyways. That's it. Oh, geez. A lot of wolf meat. So I'm kind of bummed because um, the video I recorded previous to this one uh, had me going up against a horde because Weaver's, uh, I guess, doctor. Well, I, guess, I don't know if he's a doctor, but uh, um, scientist Weaver. <laughs> uh, he. Uh, perfected his uh, like mega uh, Molotov cocktail type stuff, and um, anyways, they wanted me. The general <laughs> wanted me to go test it out, which I did, and uh, the whole point of me telling you this. <laughs> is that uh, unfortunately I ran out of disk space uh, in the in the section of my computer that I was saving everything to not exactly sure how that happened but uh, whatever um, so yeah so that actually did not get saved. I'm kind of, kind of bummed. Oh, here comes the big wolf. Can he come get me? 
Let's see if I can put my focus on. Two shots. Mm, I can't get any, uh, can't get any meat from that guy. He's gross. St. John out. Alright, let's find this clue. There's vibrating over here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's going on here? Gotcha. Bye, Colonel. Have a spot. Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! Don't let him get away, Deke. How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. It don't matter much to me one way or the other. God damn the anarchist. Colonel, I've got him. I'm transmitting the coordinates now. Good work, Quake! Why you can't leave me? Good. The freaks! The freaks! Stop! Don't leave! Please! Please! See ya, bud. Tap off a little bit. Good. All right, let's go meet O'Brien. Where am I going? Sounds like really wet, slushy snow just plopping out of the sky. Let's see what O'Brien wants us to do. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating, some faster than others. Mm -hmm. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them. 
so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and other... You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, we'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Get this last one. Those zombie birds are the worst. What? Wait a minute. There's still a red. One more nest. Heck. Let's get in on. Nah, we gotta check him. 
see they had a Molotov. Anything in here? Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. O'Brien, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. Brian, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah. And that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, great. Well, probably would. Say, John, out. Neuro equipment. Must have well, come this way. Ah, uh, maybe this way. Bad feeling about this. Just too many red flares. Can I go over? What the hell was that? He went down fast. 
O'Brien, I found another one of your men. ID says his name was H.S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Game is creepy. Okay. Two meters. How am I gonna get to him? Should be able to just jump over that. That's kind of it's kind of stupid. All right, there's got to be a way to get down there. Maybe down here. Yeah, yeah. Just a big circle. <laughs> Did we come through here already? Yeah, I totally did. No. Totally did not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am no, disoriented. No I could have gone through here, but from the other side, right? Before, I think? I'm not sure. Brian, uh, he uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky, or luckier than most. Yes, some of us got our families out. Not many, but some. That's just, it's so great. Oh, Brian, good for you. 
We didn't ask for this. Yeah. Neither did anyone else. Miss something? On your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. No, 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 no. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. Lift up. Keep down. Come on. His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. My shit's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? I'm so fast. I didn't see it coming. Are you tell me that a freak did all of this? Richard. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? Uh, I'm here. I can hear I you. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you in oh, Listen to me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me?
So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Fuck. Yeah. The guys at the lab nicknamed it the Reacher. Reacher? What? It's got long arms, claws, what? No, it's just... fast. We've clocked it moving 40 miles an hour. 40? Jesus. And yeah, it's strong. Maybe you should abort. I don't know. Don't go with that. I'm not aborting anything. This isn't your fight. It is now. Say Jonah. Explosives? That ought to do it. Brian, I got your samples. Hey, John, get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You've got to be kidding me! Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off.
here. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling you. Fly around in your helo well above the shit, and you crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it takes to survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper. The others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did, didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted up. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Colonel, reporting in. Did the, uh, patrol get the prisoner? Corporal, I'm afraid not. When they went to retrieve him, he was dead. What? Dead? Poison. He killed himself. We're not sure how. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Whatever knowledge he had about us, died with him. Yes, sir. St. John out. All right, that that crate that cave is uh, some seriously crazy crap. Let's see if these uh, MP3 players are a little bit more accessible. The last time I went over there, there was a huge horde came out. <laughs> I was like, nope. Not gonna do it. Oh, shit. Horde. 
figures. How the hell am I gonna get through that? It's gotta be down on that football field. It's going to be a Dynadash type of thing. Views. I want the. I want his stuff. Okay. Here, here, it here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. All right. Let's just. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. take it.
Darn it. They suck. Just. They're down! They're down! That should do it. that A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict, a worthless excuse of a human being, could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. Yeah. 
I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark, where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. The call is going out. Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel, are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, no one is allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid, that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Company dismissed. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sarge. Okay. Got it. Okay. See you, Corporal St. John. Deacon, Corporal in command. Sarge, good to see you. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Oh, and it goes for the upgrade. Nice. Oh, big spender. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? What, you wanna ask me on a date or something? I'm busy. Yeah, okay. Corporal St. John, I'll see you around, yeah? Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need? Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. All right, um, I think that's it for today. Thanks for uh, chilling with me for a little bit. Cave was insane, but we got through it, so that's good. And uh, listen, I, uh, like I've said before, I do appreciate all your support and uh, hit that like button. That do wonders for the for this video and for the channel. And uh, please hit subscribe. Corporal in command. And the bell. Sarge, good to see you. All right, you guys are the best. Love ya. And until we meet again, stay safe. Bye. Hey, you're not supposed to be here.